You want to scan your printed photos, but what are the best settings to get it right the first time? Whatever scanning software you are using with your photo-specific scanner, there are always a ton of settings to choose from. So where do you start? Let me help you with the best settings for scanning your photos to digital. Now, before we start scanning our photos, I need to have a little word with you about what scanner you should not be using to scan your photos. If you have a scanner on top of your printer, it can be very tempting to use this to scan your photos. However, please can I ask that you don't use your printer to scan your photos as the quality is not going to be great. And you'll see, as I talk you through the best settings for your scanning your photos, most printer scanners will not be able to give you your best scan with those settings. So it's best to invest in a photo specific scanner that will give you your best scan the first time. Resolution. When it comes to resolution for printed photos, you need to be using 600 DPI. But what exactly is DPI? Well, it is the number of dots per inch that are used to create the image. A higher resolution will result in a sharp image, but will also create a larger file size. 600 DPI is a good resolution for scanning photos, so you will be able to print and enlarge them without getting a pixelated image. This is the setting that most printer scanners will not be able to do. Color mode. The color mode tells the scanner how many colors to use to create the image. Whatever the image you are scanning, RGB or color, if that's the only option you have, is the best color mode for scanning photos, as it supports a wide range of colors. This is even if you are scanning black and white images. Yes, I know it sounds a little bit odd, but if you are scanning in color, it will pick up all the detail and often black and white images are not pure black and white. If you do want a pure black and white image, you could always do a bit of color adjustment after you've done your scan. File format. When it comes to file format, there is only one format that you should consider for scanning, and that is TIFF. TIFF is a lossless file format, which means that no image data is lost when the file is compressed. TIFF files are typically larger than JPEG files, but they are the best option for archiving your photos, or if you want to do edits of the image after scanning. If you then want to share the scans afterwards, you can convert them to JPEGs as they are easy to share and are smaller as they are compressed. Other settings. Depending on your software and scanner, you might have some other lovely settings you can play with from brightness and contrast to full on color restoration and red eye removal. My word on these is to check that you are happy with the results of the scans on a couple of test photos before you go all out, in case you don't like the adjustments the scanner makes. I have found that color restoration can go a little heavy on the green, so it's worth testing one with a lot of grass in it to see if you like the output. My scanning top tip. Clean, clean, and clean again. Whatever type of scanner that you are using, your photos will I expect have been sat in a dusty box or on a dusty shelf for some time before you scan them. So make sure you clean them with a dry cloth beforehand, but also clean the scanner glass or element regularly to make sure you don't get any annoying lines or flecks on your photos so that you have to start again because nobody wants that. So there you have it, the best settings for scanning your photos to digital. Do you know any other great tips for scanning your photos? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple quick start guide to organizing your photos and videos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead with a like, a share, oh, and subscribe, where don't you? Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.